Moving on now, Ethiopia failed to make an interest payment on its bond, making it the latest defaulter in Africa. 11th of December was the deadline for the Horn of Africa country to pay a $33 million coupon with a grace period ending on Monday. Ethiopia, it now joins a growing list of poor countries, including Zambia, Ghana and Sri Lanka, that have fallen behind on their euro-bound payments in recent years. Ahmed Shide, Ethiopia's Minister of Finance, said that the government wants to treat all creditors in the same way and so did not want to make the payment. Senior Reform Advisor at the Ministry of Finance revealed on Monday that the payment has not been made and will not be made. Last month, Ethiopia and its bilateral creditors came to an arrangement to stop making loan payments. The government requested that bondholders prolong the maturity from July 2028 to January 2032. Pardon me. Ethiopia also requested creditors to lower the yield from the existing 6.625% to 5.5% in its counter-proposal for a restructuring. Still, the $1 billion face Value will not change, so creditors won't have, the, have to accept a haircut on their debt. Earlier this month, an ad hoc committee of bondholders expressed that Ethiopia's decision to forego the payment was both unnecessary and unfortunate. Ethiopia is attempting to restructure its debt using the common framework of the Group of 20. The G20's plan has gained traction following the debt restructuring successes of Zambia and Ghana. Ethiopia has been attempting to restructure its debt since 2021. The reason? A civil war in northern Tigray area soured investor confidence and stunted economic growth. The country finally secured an in-principle deal with bilateral creditors to halt debt payments.